Well, I think what I've noticed over the last couple of years is every single brief that we've got from our clients really deals with the issue of brand saliency and also kind of, I suppose, cultural uh, relevance. And I think that's because brands have really defined, uh, struggled to define themselves in the digital area. And I see that continuing at the moment. Short-termism and I think some degrees of uncertainty, particularly clouded by whether it's Brexit or the China-US trade wars, uh, I think that lack of certainty uh, breeds lack of longer term investment. I think that brands, advertisers need to really invest in their brands uh, rather than just be merely focused and purely focused on immediate performance. You need to do both. What definitely won't change is a lack of clarity around attribution and measurement. That silver bullet is not going to arrive this year. Um, however, I think also what won't change is the importance of commerce and e-commerce as buying behaviours change. There's going to be a bit of a renaissance for uh, the power of context in media planning. Uh, and I think that you know many brands already value the power of context. Uh, it's always been an important part of media planning. But I think that brands are increasingly seeing how important context is and are kind of going back to, to, to basics. The focus on people. So as we have more tech, more automation in the industry, um, we make, need to make sure we don't lose focus on that human element. Brands still need to really understand and connect with people. And so it's going to be critical that we have the right skills and capabilities in the industry to keep that connection and that focus and putting people first. So what I don't think will change next year are, are brands that have been smart about how they've been navigating changes in the privacy landscape. The impact of some of the laws around CCPA, the ICO report and the ongoing GDPR rulings uh, means that many brands are looking for a stopgap in how they track people across the internet. Um, people should be using this as a time to rethink about what are the right audiences are trying to reach and what are the moments to reach them around. And if they do that correctly, changes in these legislations won't impact what they're doing. What I hope to see brands do more of in 2020 is do more cost-driven marketing, especially as we head into a political year in the US. And I love the ideas of brands taking a stand, as long as it's done with purpose and it's authentic and not done just for marketing purposes. The, the strongest driver of business growth is salience. And that, frankly, most brands are in danger of optimizing themselves in, into invisibility. We'll continue to need more video in the digital space because it is very effective and the consumers are there. I think also we'll have marketers want to continue to use their own data and to use the data available within the structures of GDPR and CCPA. I think the attention that women's sport has gotten in 2019, which was huge for women, uh, is only going to continue. So I, I expect to see some uh, lots of attention from the media and lots of investment from brands in 2020 going into the Olympics and beyond. It is the growth of programmatic uh, in terms of the absolute share of uh, media expenditure. What needs to change is the quality of the creative work that's going into that system. Absolutely needs fixing.